I want to preface this video by saying that I'm not trying to induce FOMO, I'm just trying to make you guys aware of what's happening. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, the Pokemon market is in a crazy boom bull market right now, and I'm going to give you some examples of uh, what's going on in the current era, especially with Surging Sparks. I'm going to use examples from the recent history that you guys can hopefully get some information from. Now, Surging Sparks booster boxes on TCG Player are going for 135 they have market at 132 a box, which is crazy. So this is in the last month. In the last month, it's up 11%, which is, uh, the reason I bring this up is because usually the booster boxes start off cheap or if their pre-release prices are up here, then they come down for quite a while. However, that's kind of changed in somewhat recent history and we're gonna dive into that in a second. But uh, at one point, the lowest in the past month, these were 114. Now they're at 132, but last sold's at 134, uh, 135. But check this out when this price is increasing at 128 we had the most sales it's not like this is an anomaly this is the most sales that are happening into this price increase so that's the people are people are fomoing and that's part of it and we've had some news that the set possibly have been short printed because um some some of those with distributor access had their numbers cut okay um not quite in half but uh it depends right some people got cut a lot some people got cut just a little it it, that's what we're hearing so that's caused a little hype and this is looking to be a pretty decent set but last sold's 135 but then we, we also have a 120 but then it goes back up to 135 130 130 and then 135s so fairly consistently around that price now the reason i bring this up and why this is important we're going to look at singles as well uh which is kind of hard to do because they're pre-release but still okay the reason we're going to look at this or compare this to Twilight is because I talked about this a long time ago. I said after Twilight came out, my Pokemon investing strategy changed because I thought it kind of broke the market. Now, this set is already above MSRP, okay? So the new MSRP for the Scarlet and Violet era is like 161, and these are 167, right? There's even a 150, but then it goes back up 165, 165, 167. Now, the reason I use this as an example, and it, look, it's up almost 30% in the past three months. Uh, if we zoom out here, we can see when this set was released. This was pre-release price, right? 107, 108. It went down to 101, and then it just steadily climbed. Now, this is over a short, a pretty short window, right? We're looking, actually, we'll zoom out a little bit more just to make sure. So it was one, sorry. We didn't have the full chart. 132. So this is what we normally see. Pre-release prices are high. Somebody pays a high first price and it comes down. It was at 106. It ran back up to 115, but then it did that unlike the other chart. 101 and it just steadily ran. Now this was in a pretty short period. Usually booster boxes take a while to get to MSRP or near MSRP. And this is the most expensive box in the Scarlet and Violet era. It has the Greninja. It's really hyped, right? So look at what this box did, right? It, at at pre-release, it just came down and it came up only to 115. So if we compare that to what this is doing, we can zoom out a little bit more. It did have some high pre-release prices. It came down and now it's on a shoot up, but well above what Twilight did at 131. So that being said, one of the best deals right now currently is GameStop. Uh, if you have a pro membership, you can get 124. I didn't even know that GameStop sold booster boxes uh, until recently. I Let me know in the comments if this was a, a recent uh, addition. Anyways, um, but yeah, that's that's what's going on. Uh, I mean, there's some sites that are still selling. Uh, you, you'll see them pop up every once in a while. But for the most part, this is one of your best deals currently. Okay. Here's a quick look at some of the product, the other product that's available. Uh, we'll dive a little deeper into some of these in a second. Uh, but just so you guys can get just kind of a little gauge of where things are at. Some of the lesser product isn't really getting expensive, but even the ETBs are kind of taking off. Um, we'll take a look. So starting off with the Pokemon Center. ETB. Okay, we all know that this is this comes with the stamped promo. Um, you can see down here the Magneton. We just made a video about this. Okay, this is a going to be a very desirable product because of the artist and the Pokemon. It's Gen One Pokemon. Okay, um, and they're going to be expensive. But once again, this is something that's interesting. You have to understand, not everyone has access to the Pokemon Center. They can't always buy from the Pokemon Center or they don't know the Pokemon Center exists. It happens. It's just the reality, okay? So TCG player is started high, right? 150s, 150s. Then look, look at these sales. Now we're in the 158s. I mean, it hasn't moved a ton, but there are sales in here. That's what I'm saying. People are buying these. So 
we're going to get to that. These are still available on the Pokemon Center as of this recording. Okay, they're 60 bucks. They're selling for 160 Okay, I'm making you guys aware that you can make this play. Um, then we have the regular ETBs. So the regular ETBs also are kind of expensive. We're at $43 right now, which not that expensive, but they're up because of the hype. Okay, the hype around the set, the demand, the booster boxes, people, uh, oh, booster boxes are too expensive for me. I'll get ETBs. Uh, we don't normally see this, and this still could come down, right? It, they were a few sold right here, just below 50. But the fact that they're running up already, like this, um, could be an indicator that things are popping off, right? I mean, we've seen what, what's been happening with 151. Um, so much stuff is just, like, taking off. And with this, the box prices being already what they are, this is this is kind of an interesting but kind of scary time. Um, anyways, back to, so this is Pokemon Center ETB. These are still available. You can purchase four at a time. You can do multiple orders. Okay? This play is here. I'm just letting everybody know once again. This video is not necessarily about that, but just wanted to include that. Then we'll talk singles just for a second. And I understand, guys, I understand that these are pre-release prices. There's not that many out there, but it just helps us understand what's going on with the set, okay? Now, the Pikachu, 350, 350. There's a 300 and then a 450 and a 450, 350. So um, some people were getting booster boxes early. Some people are just doing these from like the build and battle, the pre-release kits and everything. Um, and they're pulling this. I'm just letting you know that remember this price because we're going to look at another card and use another example, a few other cards at the end of this video. Uh, but just let me know what you guys think about these pre-release Pikachu prices because I don't think they're that crazy considering the hype right now. Um, some people say this is one of the biggest, some people say this is the chase card of the set. Some people don't like it. Um, it's It looks much better in English when we, once we saw it. The Japanese skins didn't look that good. Uh, but take a look at the Latios. So this is an SIR as well. This connects to the Latios connected art card. Um, the sales on this one are a little less, um, 150. Like these are our best offers accepted, but most recent sale was 200. So interesting there. We'll see where this card ends up. I'm just, once again, we're just trying to see what's happening. I know it's pre-release, but the boxes are in pre-release too. So we just kind of, we're getting a gauge on the market. Okay. And I'll circle back to all of this at the end. Um, so this one surprised me. The Hydra, the Hydragon, Hyd Hydragon. Sorry, excuse me. Um, this one's been a little cheaper. I thought that this card really popped, um, but a lot of people don't like the crowns on here, and I understand that. Um, but 95, 110, 95, 120. So uh, about $100 market value, depending. Um, that one surprised me a little. I thought it might be a little bit more um, just because of how cool the art was. And we'll, we'll see what happens um, You know, as we get into the actual release. So re the release, just so you guys know, is November 8th. So we're still quite a ways out from the official release now the uh florida christmas tree here a little bit more right we got 120 125 100 crossed out and 130 now this is one of my personal chase cards from the set i absolutely love this card um i do think it's gonna be fun so um i have my eye out for this um the pikachu and then this this milotic um is another one of my big chases this one surprised me a little bit as well we're seeing sub 100 sales, 95, 103, we got 100, 99 crossed out, 92 crossed out. Um, this is a very stunning card. I think it's one of those ones where you might have to see it in person, I think, to be able to fully appreciate it. So a lot of people um, in my comments on my other videos said that this was their chase card. So interesting there. Uh, we'll see if this card could go up. I mean, we don't know. We can't have, we haven't really had a set that has had multiple hundred dollar cards for long periods of time right i mean like paldean fates has the bubble mew and then the charizard but that's kind of it like two one hundred dollar cards although the bubble mew is kind of taking off right now so um but yeah we'll see usually not this many um so here's another example of some cheap ones though this is the durant sir we just pulled this in japanese by the way uh, on the channel but just two sales on here and we're seeing 25 and 20 so pretty cheap but these are sirs these are hard to pull so um this card's i mean i understand why it's the cheapest it's probably the least maybe the second least desirable sir um there's that building i hate that building anyways uh if you guys like the building i apologize but i just can't stand it so 20 bucks for the the durant the kevin um then I just wanted to throw in like what I thought was the coolest illustration rare, which is the Cerulege. Um, he's heavily featured in the anime, and plus this art is amazing. He makes Pokemon look super cool. 
Um, we're seeing like 40 bucks on the last sold. This one was less than that, crossed out. Um, 27, 35, 35. This is, I thought that this was an illustration art that I thought had the potential to uh, maybe do really well just because of the, the artwork and the Pokemon itself. But while being a new Pokemon, I feel like it's cool enough to like have that cool factor. We'll see. Uh, I thought this one would have been going a little higher, but uh, illustration rares are easier to pull. But this is a larger set list, so getting a specific IR should be a little harder. It's not the biggest set, but it's big enough. So we'll see where this one ends up. Just another one I have my eye on. Now, comparison wise, we're going to look at the Greninja because we're using Twilight as a base. Okay. I said that my Pokemon investing changed with Twilight because of what it did. Um, so with Stellar, Stellar ended up being not as strong of a set. So it kind of it didn't flop, but you know, it's just not as good. Um, I, I still like Stellar, but anyways, we're not talking about that. So this is the first strong set, right? Surging. And it's coming off the heels of some sets that people didn't really like. It's coming off of Shrouded Fable. It's coming off of Stellar, okay? So people are really hyped for this. And I, the reason I want to bring up the Greninja is just because of some of those high prices that we're seeing with the Pikachu and everything else, right? This came out the gate at 150. It seemed high. Came all the way down to 118. Ran up, came down, ran up, ran up, and then it ran all the way down. This is, I'm not talking about this recent run, although that is interesting, but it's up 102% since launch, which is wild. Um, so I'm just saying that with the hype and the popularity of the set, if the Pikachu comes out, we could see something similar to this happen. Um, those cards are going to be hard to pull. I don't think they're going to be quite as hard as the Greninja. So that may play a factor, but Pikachu is a very popular Pokemon and this set, like I said, this set is already ahead of Twilight as far as hype, as far as booster box price. So this is like, it's already leapfrogged. So I don't know what this is going to come out the gate at. It depends how many are going to be on the market. It depends what's going to happen, but this is just an example of the best card from the most, most expensive set that hasn't been out that long. Okay. So that's, I'm just trying to prepare everybody. You guys can be prepared for what's about to happen, possibly. Um, now, the Eevee, on the other hand, is a little bit of a different thing. It came out at 25 um, which I thought was a, was a pretty decent price. Um, once again, weren't factoring pull rates necessarily into it, and this is a very popular Pokemon um, as well. Extremely popular, obviously. But 25 up to 39 and it just ran all the way up to 60 and it's come back down, but it's holding around that 50, 49, 50 dollar mark. So this is just another example of just this card kind of did the opposite, really. Uh, it didn't go down. I mean, it didn't do the opposite, but it just went up first and then do that the, that stair stepping thing, and it's kind of traded in a channel um, for a while now. I mean, it went as low right here, went down to 41. So it's kind of in that like 40 to 50 dollar channel. It's bouncing off of in the last few months, but. This is just another example of what can happen, right? As a card comes out, pre-release is cheap. For example, maybe the Cerulege is cheap, okay? Um, 40 bucks, 27 bucks, okay? This is 25, maybe that happens with this card. I, I'm just saying that these are potentials that we've seen happen in recent examples. So um, that's kind of the summary that I wanted, does this? That light's on. Okay, this light turned off. I'm, I'm, I'm lost the light, so I'm a little dark. Um, I apologize for that. I think my USB port went out. Um, I have one under the desk. Anyways, not your guys' problem. You guys can see me good enough. Okay, so in summary, the market, what you guys need to understand about the market, there is so much. Okay, we'll use another example of 151. So 151 is not really available at MSRP unless you're catching some of these like little restocks that have been happening like more recently. And everything that comes immediately in is immediately eaten up. And some of like, that's just like, I know that 151 is a huge part of the market, but it's not the whole market. Not everybody is like clamoring for 151 all the time. A lot of people are, I'm not saying that, but with this new set, this, this has the potential once. So... Once again, Twilight wasn't hyped beforehand. It wasn't. And look at where the boxes are at. And look what the Greninja did. It was not hyped beforehand. A lot of people didn't like it. I didn't like it. Okay? 
um, I'm in that camp. I, you know, I was wrong about Twilight. I'm happy to admit it. Okay. It's done really well. Um, but now, so you guys understand what I'm saying now, the consensus from the market, not just me, like, I know this is a good set. I'm saying this is a good set. I'm not saying this is the best set ever, but surging is a good set. The whole market is saying that for the most part. Right. And so all that money is going to be moving into the set. And now people are FOMOing with the prices. Like people are wondering if their if their boxes, if their cases are going to be honored. Some people have been getting cut like after placing orders. So this has huge potential to absolutely blow up. If it's already at 130 a box, um, we could see we could see prices getting to or around MSRP way sooner or above MSRP way sooner than Twilight. I'm just saying that this is possible. Okay, I'm just trying to make you guys aware. Pokemon Center ETBs in the most more recent times have been very good plays. More maybe more short term. It depends. I think booster boxes will probably perform best long term, but Pokemon Center ETBs they're a big play right now, okay? Um, people are going to want to rip that Magneton promo. They're going to want the stamped promo. The people are going to be ripping it. Okay, a lot of people are. So those are available. Booster boxes are still available at a reasonable price, considering, you know, where everything is. So that is just kind of, I just wanted to make this video to talk about surging because things are starting to get crazy. And um, I haven't heard, like, for my cases, I haven't heard if I'm going to get them or not. I'm assuming no news is good news. I haven't been canceled on. So, um, yeah, that is going to do it for this one. I will catch you guys in the next one. Oh, before I go, sorry. Um, final, let me know your guys' thoughts. Thoughts on surging as a whole. Thoughts on sealed. Thoughts on singles. Okay? I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.